morning to all of you. So um, to all the students, to the wonderful parents who made time to be here. And uh, I'd like to especially thank our principal, uh, Dr. Srinivas Raghavan, for uh, allowing me to speak here firstly. Yeah. And Padma Chakran for inviting me here. It actually takes great pride to be talking to, I would say, great dreamers. Right, so a big round of applause to each of you. Come on, clap for yourself. Well, as I was introduced, I'm a racing driver. So I've been racing for the last 12 years. I just came back from my race which just happened in Dubai. So during that race weekend, I just happened to lose 3 kilos. It usually happens during every racing event, I lose a lot of weight. So I'm just recording, but I didn't want to avoid this meeting because you know, it's always exciting to be talking to youngsters. You know? So for me, I would say my first inspiration, I always talk about her, is my mother. My mother has been my uh, inspiration, I would say my superhero from my childhood. Who actually taught me that you can dream and it's unlimited. You can dream for how much ever you want, but you need to work for it. And of course I would say I've been brought up in a very supportive family. Let me tell you, parents are the best. They stand before anything else because they made me who I am today. My father, again, who is enjoying his agricultural life today and uh, he was also a national athlete back then, a gold medalist in fact. Doesn't get involved into my racing but only teaches me the best models of life today. So, always due respect to them. And now coming to what I've been doing, you know, racing. Racing has always been a childhood dream. I'd say it's, it's deep down, it's deep down there that my love for cars and speed has always been there. But the first thing I really gave importance to was my education. I started, actually there are many young drivers today, start uh, the racing career in the early teens. But I, well, unfortunately I really didn't have the kind of financial backup back then because motorsports is expensive. So I started racing at the age of 21 after I finished my graduation and uh, of course I studied BBA. Then later I studied audio engineering. You know, audio engineering and racing don't really get along well, but I really uh, was interested in the technical aspects of sound. So I learned audio engineering. I also practiced as a professional DJ for eight years before I took up racing very seriously. So that would say it's a very interesting part of my life. By the time I could start up um, with my racing career, it was, it was quite hard, you know, because I would say the acceptance. Have you seen that? Have you seen a horse? Yeah? Horse is probably when it's going into a race, it's all focused, it's just running straight. It doesn't look to the left and right. You get it? So I think I probably had a similar mindset, you know, probably not to get diverted by what people would say. In fact, all they told was first they were surprised that a person with no legs can have such a dream. I say, come on, why not? Now, because dreams are something which I really focus on. Because I'm sure most of you are here and your mid teens. And now, when I ask you to write down the list of your dreams, you'll probably end up writing three or four of them. Am I right? Just three or four of them, if you, if you really think about it. But ten years ago, if you were given a piece of paper and I asked you to write all your dreams, you would write both the pages. Because every five minutes, you want to be something else. So that passionate dreamer starts fading away as you keep growing. So I'm actually trying to tell you that it's important to carry what started, never end it because it's not your right. Because today, many of you would want to be an engineer, would want to be a doctor. How many of you want to be a sportsman? Very few hands. Are you feeling shy to raise your hands? Okay. This is the, in fact, I will say, Sports is something which is good to carry along your life because I would say more than wealth, not money, I would say health is more important. That's something I would say my body is a machine which I have really invested on.
from my childhood because I believed in the dream that I would become a racing driver one day. And preparation to become a racing driver starts today. And this was decided when I was in my junior school. The school I studied, well, they really encouraged me. I'm sure you would have come, off, come across a lot of differently abled people today in the society. Friends, relatives, probably would have seen them once or twice. You know, they actually, you know the term handicap? How many of you know the meaning of the word handicap? Come on, you guys are in school. What is the meaning of handicap? Basically, seeking for attention, I know, I'm sorry, assistance. I never wanted any of that from my childhood. In fact, I never wanted a walking stick, I never wanted a, any clutches. And the first thing was, rather the last thing I want to do in my life is to sit on a wheelchair. I think the first thing I, I was taught was to master pain. Yes, it was quite hard to be walking on prosthetics, but I got used to it because I mastered it. In fact, during my racing, in fact today, I'm proud to say that I'm the only one in the world, probably um, the only one, only differently able driver in the world to be driving a non-modified car.